of his eyes is actually not the shadows are on the vertex colors around the edges of his eyes. So we don't have to put the shadows on the eye maps and um, watch them move around with the eyeballs. Uh, they, they move underneath the vertex colors. So this is actually saving quite a few polygons. You don't have the spheres, you don't have the extra objects in every character, and you still have the motion. So you can also tie this to, you know, lag behind the head turning and that kind of stuff, or in front of it, actually, the head turning but lag behind the eyes. This is kind of a combination of some of the things of copying controllers and being able to um, use the vertex colors and the texture mapping techniques. We also saw the uh, being able to use your mapping coordinates and your texture mapping, your texture mapping coordinates and your polygon coordinates interchangeably. We talked about being able to save your UVs into files, uh, save your mapping, uh, your vertex colors into your UV files. And, um, and being able to transfer those back and forth. We also uh, saw a little vertex painting and using that for deformation. And we saw some um, skinning techniques with some shortcuts for edge loops and things like that. We also saw how you can break your model up into parts and transfer the skin weights in parts or in whole. But if some characters have similar parts but not similar holes, then uh, you can still use those and also being able to, uh, some shortcuts for animation, being able to change your, your track views and being able to uh, use ghosting and being able to adjust your keys and your trajectories and that kind of stuff. And, um, and I really appreciate you coming and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show.